Hello, and welcome to a tackle box video. Here we have a nice turtle as a background today. It's pretty cute, right? Um, in this video, we are going to make a timber theme from scratch. So literally from zero starter files. In the class, I provide a starter theme that has a basic template structure ready to go. But to understand the concepts behind how timber and how twig files communicate with the PHP files, I think it'll be helpful to just do that literally from zero to sort of a WordPress theme. We'll do a couple examples. So to start out, I'm going to <clears throat> go through the steps of making a WordPress theme. So first I'm going to Command Shift G and jump to my sites folder like that. Um, another way to get there if you're using Alfred would be like find sites um, or if you have a, a shortcut yourself mapped to opening the folder. So once I'm in here, I'm gonna go to any WordPress install. I have a little test one here ready to go. So you'll need to have your site installed with WordPress and again, naming it something that's not just WordPress, so something that indicates what site it is. Then I'm gonna go into WP Content and Themes I'm just going to make a new folder, so literally from scratch here. This is not how you would really start a project ever, but for educational sake, it's kind of useful. So then I'm going to drag this down onto the line per usual and make a few different files here and a few different folders. So first I'm going to make a function.php and then a style.css. Uh, what? Oh, because I'm in the wrong folder here. Da -da. So let's go to find the appropriate folder. Themes from scratch, save, okay, functions.php. Next, we're gonna make a style.css. So that is the other file that is required by WordPress. And okay, cool. So then I'm gonna grab a chunk of comments. So I'm just gonna look up style CSS comment WordPress. And that comment will tell WordPress what the name of the theme is and make the theme actually exist instead of just being a, a file. And this is way more information than we need, but so I'm gonna copy that, paste that in here. So again, I just don't memorize any of this code. So I went to Google, just searched it on the codex. I could also have grabbed that from another, another project, but I'm gonna paste that in there. So Command V. And this comment, although it's a comment, it's Read, looked for, like WordPress looks for this specific comment. So even though in theory, you know, this wouldn't show up anywhere, um, we can do that. So I'm deleting everything here except these three. I mean, really, I only need theme name to make this work. I'm doing something super simple. And just for a demo, I'm not going to actually use this theme. So I only, I'm kind of cleaning up my style sheet here. So I'll just call this from scratch. Timber, fun times. There we go. Okay, WordPress team, let's be Lara. Okay, next step is to create a template file. So I said before that functions.php and style.css are all you need to start a theme, which is a lie. To start a child theme, that's all you need because you would be reading the templates from a different theme, from the parent theme. But now we're creating our own theme, so we have to have some kind of file for WordPress to read from, to, um, to find markup in and to see where the data is gonna be. So we're gonna make an index.php file. Just command N, index.php, save, save in here. And I'm not gonna put anything in this yet, but index is WordPress default show a, lo a loop of posts file. So if you ever start a WordPress site by default, the front page is a listing of your posts and that is what the index.php file will have in it. So I'll save this, and then let's go scope out what this looks like and activate our theme. So this was called Timber Test, WP Admin. And as usual, if you're using MAMP, you might have a .8888 here, and or if you're using another thing or another virtual host, you might have something that's like, you know, dev dot whatever. But anyways, let's go to Parents Themes, and yay, we have our From Scratch Timber Fun Time, so let's activate for sure. Okay, and then let's visit this site. Gorgeous! So, we're gonna see, if I type a little bit of stuff in here, I'll just say H1 blah blah, and for anybody who's not using Emmet at all, or if you're just starting off with Emmet, 
H1 tab will complete your tag like that. So blah, blah, and if I refresh, I'm going to see blah, blah, because this is my default post file. And before we even do timber here, I'm gonna just show you what the WordPress loop looks like by default. So where am I gonna find that? I'm gonna Google it, because I don't remember the exact syntax. So WordPress loop, the loop looks good to me. And I'm going to grab this, thank you. Actually, we'll just grab this guy. So what we've got here, if we kind of read through this, zoom in, we have if have posts, while have posts, the post. Sometimes you won't always see the if have, or the if have posts, that's just checking. If there are no posts, do something else. And also in PHP, this bracket syntax can also be, um, that's a, or this, uh, this syntax here is an alternative to brackets, which this looks a little nicer, so I'm gonna grab this. Um, so instead of putting in a, putting a bracket here and doing a wrapping thing like this, we can just use a colon and then kind of write a little, a quick statement there. So it's a little cleaner looking. So I'll paste that in there and then I'm going to grab this stuff as well. And so this is ending our loop. Okay. So we've got, we've got this logic again. So if there are posts while there are posts, show the post. So that is looping through all posts. So if I say hello, and I'm outside of PHP tags here, so I can type whatever I want. I say hello, like that. And let's see, and ideally I should have a few posts here. So now if I go back into WP Admin, I'm gonna see that I have a bunch of posts. I'm assuming I do. Yeah, so all of these are posts from a random project I was working on. So if we go back, visit site, we have all this. And so let's say I wanna put in the title there for each of these posts. So I can put in the title by using a template tag. And that tag would be not the tootle, the title. There we go, save and refresh. And now I have the title for each of my posts that's spitting out. Okay, and then let's say I wanted to get the date, which who knows what that is. Do you think it's the date? Probably not, but we could try that. Oh wow, it is, excellent. And then there's also one called the excerpt. So we'll do this. And now I'm printing out all of my uh, post information on one page. And there's kind of, there's a loop between each one of these. So if I put a little HR down here as well, you'll see we got a little line now. So there we go. Just made a beautiful blog.